What's going on guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be checking out a couple people's bases. And Dr. Creeps is the first one because automatically, straight off the bat, he's got a great base and we're already here. So, coming straight into here, I thought that was a makeshift door, but no, we actually have doors in this game. So, oh wow, that is, that is cool. <gasps> what? Oh no, man, I'm jealous of your base now. Oh, that is crazy. Can you stand underneath it? I want, that's going to be the thumbnail. That is the thumbnail right there. That is absolutely amazing. Cannot believe you've done that. That is blown me away within the first five seconds. If you guys are currently liking this video, which I guarantee you that you are, I recommend that you subscribe to the channel. That way you get to see more Lumber videos when I upload them. They're not going to be as often because I do play a lot of Woodmill. This is just because I'm on Lumber right now. It's just no effort to record one extra video. And this is, uh, he had a vending machine up there, by the way, guys. Let's just go back up there. Look at this vending machine. What is going on here? That is crazy. He's doing, like, his base is absolutely magnificent, right? Go, okay, this is another base, and, uh, how did he do that? Oh, right, okay. Uh, over here, we got, we're gonna have to leave that till last. That is the most complex thing ever. If I showed that, half the viewers would be gone. <laughs> um, let's go to here. So right here, I was showing this in the last video. This stuff, he literally just won from me. He got it all for free. 30, for, like, no, not 30 second challenge. The four minute challenge where he was had four minutes to get as much as he can. And he's got himself vaults here. So these are like pillars with vaults. And inside of these pictured frames that he's made, he's got himself the gifts and stuff like that. So you've got the eyes there, a load of gifts more gifts, and this one is a Halloween one over there. And going up here, it looks like this is where you're going to start off. The wood goes around here, up here. I don't know how it gets around that corner, but trust me, it just magically does. And oh, it looks like this is how you're going to put the stuff on the inside. And it is by the looks of it. It look Oh, it looks like, oh, it's where you put your gifts. Your gifts go down there, and then they get organised. So this is all the eyes. Can you open that a minute? The eyes looked a bit different to me. Huh. They've changed the box texture of the eyes. Maybe that's the lighting revert. Maybe that's just me. But it looks like he's got himself a nice little voltage area, and then whatever doesn't go, goes into, the convert into this trailer. Then he has to spend double as much time moving it from the trailer to whatever truck he needs to go to. He's got... This place, we've been inside of this barn thing here. We've got this studio room here, which is a... Oh, what? No way. This is... This is great. Okay, I don't want to stand on that trailer anymore because it was glitching out. We've got... He's got actual shelves and stuff. This is really, really good. What? This is magnificent. Dr. Creeps, you are a professional or an expert. Let me know on my Discord later on, and I'm going to give you that expert role. I'm going to create a special role, Lumber Tycoon Expert, you know? That's going to be for you specifically, or anyone else that has a big base. You've got a billboard here. Is there any text on it? It is. It says Doc Lumber Inc. Dr. Creeps Lumber Inc. And he's got a rainbow flag on there as well. And inside of this smaller room, what's he got? He's got himself pink trucks. Yep, just the pink trucks inside of here. Nothing more, nothing less. And this room over here, this looks to be a big room. Can I see inside of this? Oh, it's a bigger storage room. So we got ourselves one of every axe, almost one. We got basically everything everything inside of the game and it's all organized this is what i was on about in the last video this is what was so organized and yeah i was right the stuff that wasn't organized just fell off the top and this this looked absolutely stunning and what is this <gasps> whoa oh my god this is this is crazy and it's it's a passcode is that no way you have to have a passcode inside of it for it to work. Now guys, Dr. Creeps is one of the best people to be playing this game. This is crazy. If he can make a woodmill base like this, I'm pretty sure he'd make it onto the homepage. And he's gone upstairs too. What's up here? He's got himself a bed, 
couple more sweets. Dr. Creeps, do you not tidy your room? You've got sweets and wrappers all over the floor, mate. That's absolutely disgraceful. We've got Halloween pumpkins, a nice little kitchen, and there's new pets inside of the oven. And let's go back downstairs. Let's go have a look around. Let's go to the complex thing now, because that complex thing was really, really big. Is there anything else? I don't think I'm missing anything else. Uh, have we been in there? I'm not too sure. We'll go back round. Right, this complex thing. Let's go up this ladder, because it looks like you can actually make it up to the top. Right, look at that. Look at this complex thing. You try doing this. You, Mr. Viewer. You try doing this. Bet you you can't. This is outstanding stuff. Right, uh, let's let's start having a look. Looks like we've got ourselves a slope for cars to go up, maybe. You drive your car up here, and then your wood falls down, maybe, into the, into the sawmill. I have no idea. But... Moving on, let's go find the starting area. This looks to be the starting area over here, where the conveyors are literally on the floor. And there's quite a lot of trucks there. Looks like this is the starting area over here, where the sawmill is. Okay, so your wood goes through the sawmill. It goes up into this icy box. What's inside of this icy box? I want to have a look. Um, I don't see nothing. Oh, okay, so if, I, if I'm if i stuck, I'll just kill myself. It's okay. Oh, there's another gap down there. Can I get down there? I want to see. I can get back out, can't I? This way. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. It's, uh, it's where you chop your wood. And oh my god, look at this wiring. Crazy wiring. It works. Okay, so once you've chopped your wood... It goes up into one by one pieces, and then it follows these conveyors, which makes the most sense. Because if they were long pieces, I wouldn't have a clue on how it does it. So, uh, okay, so it goes down here. This is a, I think this is a, like, emergency stop area. So if there's a problem with the mechanics, he can just cut it off, and then he can continue using specific sections of it. And then it keeps looping round, keeps looping round, and up here he has a automatic wood storage. So for your basic oak, it goes into here. For your basic walnut, uh, ice, uh, elm, and basically everything else, and it just keeps coming through. And then it, your, your specific wood drops down into the specific section. It's better doing it in third person because this looks absolutely amazing. And yeah, it really does. And and if it doesn't go through on the first time, it gets looped back round and it keeps going round and round again. So how do you get your wood out then? Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, all right. So once you want a couple pieces of wood, you turn it on and wood pieces come falling out and they go through this conveyor by the looks of it, maybe. And then it comes out this other end into another piece of a... Uh, another chopping up area and then it goes either oh it goes either back out this way or it can continue going where does it keep continuing going to or it can continue going this way to here where he finishes all of his other stuff but that looks absolutely amazing and then he's got all of his trucks here as well and that is about it for this space this space is it's blown me away, guys. This is absolutely blown me away. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Right. What we're going to do now is we are going to... What what axe do I have? The many axe. Eh, don't need it. Got loads of them. Kill ourselves. We're going to go and get ourselves a truck. We're going to go have a look around with a couple other people's bases here as well. If there is a couple people that have a base, we're going to go and have a look at them before the end of the video. Um, because it's not fair just to see one person's base. We're going to go have a look at other people's bases. I did do a little pre-check before starting. And people don't have as big of a base. So why not check them out. And uh, yeah. Oh, that person left. He didn't want me to embarrass him. And this person. He's starting. He's getting his cherry trees and stuff like that. Is looking. Seeing square wood is tripping me out. It's tripping me out. It doesn't look real. <laughs> And, yeah, the, like, the sawmill, it's great. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. He's getting there. He's learning. He is learning. 
If he had the tutorial, I reckon he'd be doing all right. And it seems like all of a sudden I've got like seven people following me now. Right, let's go. I think this person wants me to show their base off. Right, let's go up here. This person's got a bigger base than the last person. They've got nothing on it, basically. And I've been blacklisted. Okay, Cody. Never mind. Never mind then, Cody. Sucks to be you. <laughs> right, anybody else? No, I think that's it. And that was it. That's literally me done. Run the entire main area already. Within seconds. Seconds. It takes minutes to do that in Woodmill. That's how big the map is, guys. Just around the main area. Up to the volcano, just there. To the beach, just there. To the bridge, just there. It's like, that's crazy. Woodmill's got such a big map. It's outstanding. Hello, dude. You scared me. <laughs> that skin. That was not a normal Roblox skin. What skin was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dr. Creeps, did you see that? <laughs> oh, that was scary. Anyway, guys, if you did like this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this from me on the channel, then make sure to turn your notification bells on. That way you get to stay up to date with any video that I upload on the channel. Uh, it's starting to become nighttime, so just in time for the end of the video. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!